hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel another day another scholarship i've been quite busy lately but i've always had you in mind and i'm back with fully funded opportunities for masters and phds particularly we're looking at the funding opportunities at cardiff university in the uk looking for how you can move actually from a bsc to a phd fully funded most of the opportunities we'll be looking at today simply require you to have a good BSc degree or a BA degree. That's either a 2-1 or even a distinction if possible. And with that, you can move directly to actually a funded PhD program because most PhD programs, as we'll be looking at, are one plus three. So one master's, one year master's and three year PhD embedded in one course. So we'll be looking at that together at this university. But before we proceed, have you subscribed already? If you've not, there are several wonderful videos on this channel on, on how to get fully funded scholarship opportunities, not just in the UK, but around the world. So there are varieties of videos here with step-by-step um, -step procedures on how to apply for scholarships. So if you've not done so, please quickly subscribe. Let us also get some words from our sponsors. Today, we've been sponsored by Uni Accor. Uni Accor is a well-known student accommodation service. It provides affordable accommodation for students in over 10 countries around the world with over 3 million beds. So in case you're looking for accommodation, affordable accommodation, clean accommodation, close to universities, I think you should use this service. And of course, they have different range of accommodation, including studios, including ensuites, shared accommodation, depending on the one you're actually looking for. So no matter what your pocket is, you'd likely find an accommodation that suits you through Student Arco. There are also other kinds of services like um, no deposit, um, no university, no payments. There are cashbacks, there are Amazon vouchers, and other freebies you can get from UniArco. So please try as much as possible to use their service if you're looking for student accommodation globally and you wouldn't regret it. And of course, the link to UniArco will be in the description box of this video. So please look at it and enjoy affordable accommodation for your studies. So let's continue. So now we're back to Cardiff University. And then before we proceed, we'll be looking at the English language requirements. So as you know, as or as some of you might know, uh, most of these international universities require to take some English language test. However, they might waive it for you if there is proof that you've studied in the English language. Some universities might insist that you take one of these exams like this um, IELTS or IELTS for short. Others will say, okay, it's okay. You've studied in the English language. That's fine. So now we'll dig up together whether the University of Cardiff wants us to write the IELTS or accepts other forms of English qualification. So just join me. Let's dig up this thing together. So this is the university English language page. I just went to international here, international students, and I was able to dig this thing up. So these are the countries that are exempted from um, providing English language tests. So let's click on the list and see if our countries are there. So it has taken us to the official government page. Okay. So these are the list of countries. Unfortunately, several countries I had in mind are not here, like Nigeria, Ghana, for instance. India is not here. But not to worry, there's another trick. So this is the main list. These countries are recognized as English majority speaking countries. Well, my country, Nigeria, is not here. So does that mean I have to write the IELTS or the TOEFL? Well, the answer is no. And I'll show you why in a minute. So if you scroll down a little, you see the list of accepted language qualifications. You can see here, accepted language qualifications. And let's scroll down a little bit. It says here that these tests are valid for um, entry for two years. As a result, your qualification must have been completed no more than two years before the start date of the program. Well, that's the instruction there. So let's look for the different 
um, exams accepted. So you've seen the list up here, the TOEFL, the IELTS, and things like that. But now there are other language qualifications. So if you submit acceptable evidence that you have completed one of the following qualifications and attained the required test score, you would not be required to provide additional evidence of English language abilities. So these are other kinds of exams, not the mainstream ones. And they are country specifics specific rather you can see australia belgium botswana you can see denmark so let's quickly scroll down and check for either nigeria or west africa so let's quickly scroll down and see so yes there is the west african education certificate that's the WIAC Senior Secondary School Certificate. So this is good. It means if you did your high school in Nigeria, in West Africa in general, because this is the exam usually taken after high school or at the end of high school, and get a grade of C6, you do not need to submit any of those exams, um, like the IELTS or TOEFL that we saw earlier. So this is good news. So also check for your own country. So the West Africans are already rejoicing. You can see um, Uganda here, which is... So it was Eastern Africa. So if you're in um, India, for instance, also check if there are exams for India. This is uh, Malawi, this is Mauritius, Netherlands. So just check for your own country and hopefully there is something there. Okay, this is India. So you can check whether you have this qualification and you wouldn't need to write there. IELTS or the TOEFL, these ones, you wouldn't need to write these ones. These exams are quite expensive and um, if you do not have the resources, it could be a bit of a bother. But thank God there are several other alternatives. So let's move to the opportunities here. And now this is Cardiff University and I will just use the filter function to select non-European students. And there are 71 opportunities, as you can see here, for non-European students. For different disciplines, here is linguistics. So you could open this one and check. This is for oncology. This is for arts and humanities. Medicine. This is at the business school. This is at the business school as well. So the different, this is economics. Um, you can see the different schools and of course also check use the different tabs to to fish out the different opportunities this is at chem in the department of chemistry of course you can also use the filter function to get more you can still use the filter function to get more by selecting probably the discipline that you're interested in but now i'm just making it general and also select the discipline you're looking for. So I select mathematics, for instance, and these are the opportunities. So you can check the details and see the applications requirements as well, the eligibility. So here you can see a first class or a strong or past second class degree. Or if you have a master's, you can put also add a master's. But it's a one plus three. So it means a one-year master's plus a full-time three-year um, PhD. And the deadline for this one is the 3rd of February. For funding, you can also check what it covers. You see here, this is your stipend, covers your tuition. That is the maintenance grant of over 17,000. So that's great for those in the mathematics department. Please take advantage of this. The instructions are also written. That's the document you need to provide. But in case you're not sure what it means, like for instance, you see something like the statement of purpose. You see things like your CV, research proposal. Um, on my channel, I've already described these documents. So just go to my channel. If you scroll down just a little, you will see this tab on letters of motivation, statement of purpose, proposal. So you get all those documents here. 
CV and the rest of them. Get all those documents here. So this will teach you step by step how to prepare those documents. So not to worry, those things should not scare you. So that's mathematics department. Of course, check for all the departments and see, and also check for their um, different deadlines. Of course, this is what I did. I just went through Google because a number of people might ask, how do you find these opportunities? Most times I just go to a random university <laughs> and ask, oh, what are the PhD opportunities available? Just ask Google and Google will give you a number of suggestions and just click on those suggestions. And it's as simple as that. And you'll be surprised at what you find. And of course, you play around to dig up the information, the particular information you're looking for. Like this one, I went to opportunities available for non-EU students. And then I got this page that I'm sharing with you today. So that's it, guys. I hope this was useful. Just a quick one on this um, fully funded awards for a PhD at Cardiff University in the UK. The deadline is still open. The deadline is in February. So if you're thinking of this university, thinking of studying for free with a stipend of over 17,000 pounds per year, I think you should take advantage of this. So this is lingu linguistic department, for instance, linguistics. And you can see the stipend is similar to what we've seen before. And you can see it also covers your tuition. And when you get this, you wouldn't have to move a financial muscle. They've covered you through and through. And look at the documents you need to provide. So just dig up your own opportunity. And fingers crossed, you'll find something that suits you. And as usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. You know, there are several opportunities um, available for your grabs. So try to put your documents together. And I'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now. Do not forget to subscribe.